The amaryllis is all done blooming and we're going to cut her back today. This has to be one of the easiest plants to take care of. Just cut it. Just cut it. Don't be afraid. Cut it right down, maybe two to three inches tall. I promise you, it will grow back. If you want to watch me transplant the amaryllis, I'll leave that link at the end of this video. Your amaryllis will also give you seeds. If you wait to cut the amaryllis till the flower is nice and dry, you will have pods. Let them dry for a few weeks. I usually just put them on a windowsill on a paper towel. This is a good time to look at your amaryllis and make sure it's not getting southern blight. If you see any white growth around the stem, that's a really bad fungus that can kill your amaryllis. If you see any soft spots on your bulbs or any rotted areas, this is a very good possibility you have this terrible fungus. I have never had this on our amaryllis, but I hear it's pretty easy to get rid of if caught in time. Just buying some fungicide at your local store. Remember when planting your amaryllis to leave the bulb partially out of the soil to help prevent it from rotting. Time to get another cup of coffee. And why not have a planter that looks like a coffee cup? Perfect. Time to clean up this mess and water the amaryllis. Every Sunday, the house plants get watered. I fill that right up. When you see water coming out of the bottom, you know that plant is fully been watered. She's good for a week. Two weeks later, and this is what she looks like already. I told you she'd grow back. Our amaryllis blooms at least eight times a year, if not more. And look at the seeds, all dried up now. Now all you have to do is open up the pod, if it hasn't already opened all by itself. Inside the pod, it is like a seed protectant. It almost looks like paper. Just separate the paper from the little seeds. And now you can plant more amaryllis. Jason and I mostly grow food, but we do enjoy a few, shall we say, houseplant hobbies. In an upcoming video, we are going to trim our ficus tree like a little bonsai. Hello. How much, <laughs> how much hello does one person need? Everything grows in the sunroom. And the transplanting continues. If you haven't already met Jason and I, there's a trailer so you can see what we've been up to around here. Thank you for stopping by.